I'm stuck in traffic, and I guess this is as good a time as any to make another video. Uh, a very happy Easter and or happy Passover or whatever you celebrate to you. Um, interestingly enough, I um, a few miles back passed a, uh, a truck full of sheep. No joke, full of sheep. So it's kind of uh, festive and uh, a little bit humbling, you know, to see sheep right before Easter, but... Um, I hope you watched my previous video entitled uh, Useful Information for Everyone. It's, um, I, I mean, I got very excited about that video. I was, I'm very passionate about that subject and the things I was talking about. So, um, check that out. And I want to share some more information with you. Um, since I'm driving all day and it's kind of what I do and, uh, as you can see, I'm the a blue collar worker <laughs> I think driving is not work. Eh, it takes a lot out of you. Loving what I'm loving what I do, but at the end of the day, man, I'm worn out. Okay, a lot. I've heard a lot of people say that uh, they probably couldn't do this, and I don't know. It somehow fits for me. But anyway, um, what I wanted to share with you is, if you drive in a, we'll say, an average sized city, or really any city, or out in the country, if you drive on a regular basis of doing. Um, just, you know, going to work or going to your errands and around town, things like that. Um, if you listen to educational things uh, all the time, in about uh, a period of three years, you can get the equivalent of a two-year college education. Now, that's the kind of stuff they don't teach you in school because they want to take your money to go to higher education, and nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to pursue, they can prove that you learned something. But, you know, there's plenty of people with degrees and, you know, uh, there's doc the people with doctorates and, and everything else that don't have a lick of sense. No offense to anybody. <laughs> but we all know it's true. So um, you could take the time to learn about something very interesting, something that uh, you don't know anything about, you know, foreign languages, uh, philosophy, psychology, the list goes on. Uh, listen to classic books and you might find yourself uh, appreciating the stuff that bored you uh, that you had to learn in school. Um, I finished um, audio uh, recording of Moby Dick recently. Actually, very good book. Of, uh, I uh, listened to the version read by Frank Muller and he, he's masterful It's and it's a, just a beautiful work and a very, a very a mythological work and uh, an epic work as far as far as American authors go, and uh, right now I'm going through the Divine Comedy read by Heathcote Williams. Very, uh, very difficult even to, I mean, of course, to read, but to listen to. I'm going to have to uh, read a version of this to get any kind of understanding of it. But um, uh, I've heard in a lecture once: once you've read the poem, you've re you're ready to read the poem. So interpret that as you will. <laughs> But anyway, there's, uh, if you do that every, uh, if you listen to something, uh, just regular driving for about three years, like I said, you get the equivalent of two years of college education. And for the time I've been on this job, I've learned quite a bit from reading and listening. And, uh, traditional reading is something that a lot of people think they don't have time to do. Well, how many times do you go, uh, number two, uh, in a week? Well, <laughs> that's everybody's favorite place to read. And, um, also, uh, if you just take 20 minutes a day, you can finish about 2,200 page books in a year. And you could, you, you probably could figure that in somewhere. Go to work a little bit early and, um, you know, read for 20 minutes or, you know, uh, read on your lunch breaks or whatever. Um, and hey, if you got kids, read to your kids. If, you know, I would highly recommend you doing that. And, you know, and if your kids are older, you can maybe read the same books that they are and you, you can have a good discussion with them that's a I mean, it's great uh, parenting to do that and um, I mean you want your kids to learn so why not learn right along with them I mean the more we learn the really the I don't want to say the better we become but a lot of successful people have just a thirst and a hunger for more knowledge they want to keep on going keep on going get more get more and that's really what it's going to take along with hard work education is the key 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you didn't, well, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you next time.